Hello and welcome back to another football commentaries video. No commentary this time, it is a just a usual video and as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, it is my Euros 2020 predictions. I'm going to try and be as neutral as possible despite obviously I'm wanting England to bring it home. Will it? We're going to find out. Um, we're going to hopefully come to a conclusion who's going to win, who's going to top groups, who's going to come out, who's going to finish bottom. And, you know, that's what we're going to work out in this video. I've been seeing everyone do this. I thought, might as well do it myself. Without messing about, let's just, let's just get right into it. Start with Group A, and then we'll go all the way down, obviously, to Group F. And then you've got your, predict your four best third-place teams who also go through as well. Obviously, that's based on points and, you know, all, all, all that. And it wasn't it, like, in 2018, the World Cup, I think Japan went through for the least fouls. So, you can also go down to disciplinary as well. So, again... Um, we'll then just get into it. As you can see, you can like, um, you can do it. This I'm doing it as a guest. Um, I might later on. Um, do it as a. I think I'm about to sign in, uh, to do the knockouts. So, and then it like it says there, doesn't it? If you sign in and all that, you can like, get points for how well you actually do come in in the tournament. So let's just get into it. Group A, we've got Wales, part of the United Kingdom. I put Italy first. Turkey second, Turkey going to be a bit of a dark horse, you've probably heard everyone say that, but it is true. Uh, I think Wales will stick it out third, and I think the Swiss will come last, I think. Um, probably putting Wales there, just pr probably because they are from the United Kingdom, and obviously you've got to back, you've got to back them a little bit. And they've got a good team, you know, Bale, uh, Brooks as well from uh, from Bournemouth, a few decent defenders, you know, Joe Roden, Ampadu, uh, Danny Ward in net for Leicester. So they've got some decent players, and I think they'll do. I think they'll do all right. Um, could they be the best third team place though? So you know they could be. Um, next group, obviously Belgium first. Um, I've got Denmark second, Russia third, and Finland fourth. Obviously we know Belgium are going to top that group more or like they've got a very good team. Will they go all the way and win it? Um, who knows? Um, they've definitely got the squad for it if De Bruyne can get back fit and ready. I know he's going to miss the first game against Russia because of that eye injury he suffered and break or whatever happened of that Antonio Rudiger challenge. Uh, Denmark, you know, got decent squad likes of Ericsson. They beat England, didn't they? Um, this this season, um, well, now last season, uh, in the UEFA Nations League, I think one nil penalty Ericsson, I think it was. Uh, so they definitely got the quality, and I think they'll finish second, and Russia third, and Finland fourth. Next group, um, I'm gonna put the Dutch first. Um, you might have heard about North Macedonia being a bit of an underdog, so I'm gonna put them second. I think they're gonna be one of those, you know. Under, underdogs who actually do perform and actually do okay. So we're going to put North Macedonia second. I'm pretty sure they beat Germany not too long ago as well. Um, I'm pretty sure. I think 2-1 maybe. So um, they could cause some issues. Um, I'm going to put Austria third. I'm going to put Ukraine at the bottom. Austria have got decent players as well. The likes of um, Schlager from Wolfsburg midfielder, David Alaba now of Real Madrid as well. So they've got some decent players. So they could be one of the, uh, the best third, team t uh, third place teams. So the main group that I'll be interested in is Group D, Scotland, England, Croatia, and the Czech Republic. England first. I just, you've got to have the faith and the belief. I think they'll do it. Croatia sec, Croatia second, Scotland third, Czech Republic fourth. Um, mainly putting Scotland third because I, I genuinely think they could do well. Like some again, McTominay, Tierney, Robertson. They've got some really good players. Thinking about it, so they could be a bit like Wales in the twenty sixteen Euros. And they got to the semi-finals, didn't they, that year, Wales? Um, so I think they beat him at Portugal in the end in the semi-finals. So I think they'll do quite well. I, I, I back, I back the Scots, the Scotsmen, uh, to uh, to do well, and I think they will. So next group E, I'm gonna go for Spain second at first, Poland second, Sweden last, and Slovakia third again. I think Spain will run that group. Um, obviously, no Real Madrid players in their team, which is quite interesting. They've got Lewandowski. Poland as well, I think you pull them through and then Slovakia third and Sweden fourth. I could have swapped, but I just know Slovakia's got a few decent players. And then the absolute group from hell for Hungary. And um, let's just start with some flash bottom rock bottom. I mean, if they don't finish rock bottom, that's got to be one of the greatest achievements going because that is, you know, Portugal, France, and Germany are going to be seeing that as you know, a bank of three points and it's obviously when they face each other is when the group's gonna obviously get dictated in terms of like who's gonna top, you know, 
because at the end of the day, if one of these if one of these teams have a really bad group stage where they might draw to Hungary and then lose against, say, Portugal, for example, they draw to Hungary, then they lose to France and Germany, they might not even be become one of the best third team, one of the best third place teams. So they've got to be careful. The one of these big teams, if they you know not get those three points against Hungary and then lose or draw to the others, could be in a little bit of trouble. But I'm going to go with controversial. I know. Well, I'm going to go for it anyway. Portugal third, Germany second, France first. I know a lot of people are having Germany's third, but I think we know France. I think we'll top it. Won the World Cup 2018. They've got to the Euros final in 2016. They've got a very good squad. I don't even need to list them, but, you know, Pogba, Kante for a midfield. You know, they're attacking Mbappe, Griezmann. You know, it's just absolutely ridiculous um, on so many levels. So I think they'll top it. I think Germany, I just think, after such a disappointing World Cup where... They were just shocking, and obviously Yakim Moy went for a bit of a refresh where he like dropped loads of senior players. Mm-hmm. Obviously, they're, they're pretty much all back in now, and like Thomas Muller and Matt Hummel, they were dropped from the squad, wanting a bit of a refresh. They're back in now for this one, so I think they'll all come good, you know. And I think I think they'll finish second. I think Portugal will finish third. I just have a funny feeling they're not gonna be the the team that people think they are. Um, I could be completely wrong. They could win every single game in the group, and they just finish top. This is my prediction, and if you disagree, put them in the comments. I want to know what you think. Um, if well, if you've done your own video on it, link me in and I'll have a watch. And then we've got to pick four of the best third place teams, and that is out of one, two, three, four, five, six. So Portugal, I think we'll do it. I think Scotland will, and I think Wales, and I think Austria as well. Or do I think Austria? Well, let's group Austria in. Yeah, I'm going to go Austria. Sorry, Russia. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Russia and uh, Slovakia. Um, Slovakia could actually they've got some decent ah you know what let's go for it. I think we're going to go for that let's continue knockouts big part now big part we start off with a cracking game by the way I've you know get get get, get look at some of these right, we'll go for them one by one um, so what's the details here That so this would be on the round 16 when does that start 27th of June that's when the knockout starts so three weeks when I'm recording this Um. What a game on Belgium. I think just I just think they'll have a bit too much of Portugal. Again, I'm just this is just off the basis of me expecting Portugal to have a bit of a bad tournament. Um, I think because they, they did so well in the last one and you know the World Cup they did okay, um, not great. I just I just I just think I just think I don't, I don't know why I've got this feeling of Portugal having a bad tournament, but I really just think they will, and I could watch this back in a month's time and go what am I on about what, what was I thinking but um, I, I'm going to go with that uh, Italy you know that's pretty self-explanatory I think you know I think more North Macedonia will get to the knockouts I think we'll do okay in the group stage but I don't think they'll beat Italy the same with Wales they just played France well in a friendly thing they got beat 3-0 um, I don't think they'd get have a chance against France anyway but I think they will get to the knockouts which is the most important uh, Croatia Poland I think these two faced in Euro 2016 I could be wrong let me check that. Let me check if I'm not just absolutely waffling, but I'm pretty sure they faced each other in a penalty shootout. Let me have a look. Sorry about this. Versus Poland. Euro 2016. I don't think they did. I might have been dreaming it. I don't think they did. I thought they did. Um, but I just don't think Port, uh, Poland will have enough. Obviously, they've got Lewandowski who could cause them issues, but I think Croatia will have too much as a, as a team. I don't think Poland will have enough as a, as, a, as, a, as a unit. But then again, they played well against England in the UEFA Nations League uh, earlier this year. Do we go for an upset? Do we go for an upset? No, I don't think we will. I think, I think Croatia will make it through. Um, Spain, Austria, I'm going to go Spain, look at, the, we'll leave this, look at that, that would be a rerun of the 2010 World Cup, where obviously Lampard's ghost goal, where he went over the line and then he somehow didn't give it, um, wow, right, we'll leave that, we'll come back to that, Turkey, Denmark, that'll be Turkey, Netherlands, Scotland, sorry Scotland, I think you will do well, and I think this could be a potential upset, if this is how the group, if this is how it works, if you do end up playing like the Netherlands, or even maybe a lesser team, I think you could actually get to, um, get to the next round and they'll get to those quarterfinals but in the way I've done it in the way mine's panned out I think it does mean that Netherlands will go through right England Germany 
because obviously we if you know if England top the group then we play second place of that group of death so Germany, Portugal, France so if any of them finish second and we finish first we're playing either of them three so it's not looking good for us um, English English fans but I've got to back them sorry Germany if you I've, I've, I've just got to back my boys England are going through right look at these tasty quarterfinals I've lined up here by the way next up Belgium, Italy hmm do Italy actually have a decent tournament I say that because they haven't done too well as of late in, 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 in tournaments where they've not been getting to like semi-finals or finals um, you know what I'm going to back Italy I just I don't know why um, obviously Belgium are a very good team but I just think Italy with you know the, the warriors they've got and just the mentality and if Roberto Mancini the manager gets it right in the tournament gets his tactics right maybe doesn't not bottle it but just he sticks to his guns I think they could do Belgium just based on like I said the passion and the drive and maybe it's having a bit too much for Belgium and then th they can't really handle it but I could, again I could be wrong these games aren't even happen but I think that's what will happen France Croatia rerun of the 2018 World Cup final I think France will win once again got that semi-final there uh, Spain versus England I'm going to have to back England I think, I think they will genuinely beat Spain anyway uh, I don't think Spain are as strong as what they used to be um, obviously, I know they beat Germany. Didn't that's a ridiculous six nil in a friendly, but or UEFA Nations League game. But I genuinely think on the big day, where would that game be? It would be in Rome. I don't think that changes much really, but I, th I think England will win. And then Turkey, Netherlands, Turkey. I really think they're going to be dark horses, Turkey. I really do. And you might be looking at it thinking, "What are you on about? You're chatting rubbish." But I think, I think, I think Turkey will seriously be a bit of a, a bit of an underdog. Um, so let's 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 let's, let's predict the semi-finals now. <laughs> Italy, France. It's gonna have to be France, isn't it? I think I went on this on this book about Italy having a bit too much for Belgium, but I think France just have that added quality as a whole as a team over Belgium. I think obviously Belgium have got a very good team overall. I'm not saying that, but compared to France, I think they've just got that a little bit extra. Where I think Italy would struggle to handle with the pace they've got because they haven't got the quickest of back lines. Italy, and I think you know, with likes of Mbappe, Griezmann. Like I said, Pogba, Kante, all them. Um, you know, you've got your Pavard at right back. You've got your Baran, your um, your Kimpembe, your Koundé, your whoever you, whoever they play. I think Koundé even under twenty ones for France. <laughs> That's how good they are. Over Magano, uh, they got beat though, didn't they? In France under twenty ones in the Euros. Um, just having the, the craziest squad. If you've not seen the France under twenty one squad for the Euros, even though they got beat, check it, check it out. It's completely mental. But I think France w would win. I think I think they would. England, Turkey. I'm back in the boys. We're making it to the final. I think we will beat Turkey. Would this be? It would be at Wembley. Both semi-finals are at Wembley, so I, I genuinely think. Um, oh, I genuinely think England would beat Turkey, and would go to the final to face France. Now, as obviously wanting England to win it, I'm going to predict England to win. Right? Okay. My 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 my, my heart. My head's telling me England, my real heart, my you know, my honest truth, I think France will win it if that was to be the final. But I just I can't I can't predict against us. I d you've got to have faith. We do it every year in English fans. We always think we're going to win it, and we just don't. Especially in 2018, to be fair, when we started saying, oh, it's coming home, it's that was as a joke because we, we, we kind of just realised we just were always getting disappointed at tournaments. And then one time we actually was like, ha he's coming home. We, we actually ended up doing quite well. Um, but I think this time with the squad we've got, I just, I just, I just, I've, I've been seeing this for everyone. I just don't think national team squads this year are as strong as what they've been in the past. I don't think Spain are as good. I don't think, I don't think Italy are as, is still as good. I think they're still trying to, you know, become a powerhouse. And I think they will do better this year, but I still don't think the squad's amazing. And Croatia doesn't scare me at all. I'll just touch wood. You know, we played Croatia first first knockout game. I don't think Belgium have the greatest of squads. Dutch, you know, just as a whole, I just think we do will have a level squad with those kind of countries. Uh, where in the future we'd have a few poor players and we'd have standout, but we've got so many standout players. You know, what was the starting eleven? Like Pickford, Walker or James, Stones, Maguire, Shaw or Chilwell. You can have Rice, Henderson, Phillips. Mount, Grealish, Foden, 
Sancho, Rashford, Sterling, Kane, Dal- Calvert Lewin. Why? <laughs> it's that is ridiculous. And I think if we don't, if we don't get to at least the semi final, if not the final, because if we get to the semi final, remember it's at home as well with fans in big advantage. I think it would be a disappointment. Obviously, the final as well would be at Wembley, which again, again, big advantage, but. Would France be able to beat us again? I don't know. I would back England. I would back the boys, obviously, because if we bring it home, I just don't think I could contain myself. But um, I think that's a very 50-50. One half me saying England will do it because we've got our faith. The other half me saying that France is just way too good and they'll win back-to-back uh, international tournaments. But that is my predictions. Uh, if you want to uh, pause and just have a walk, and um, if you disagree, put in the comments, let me know what your prediction is. But my prediction is England to, <laughs> to win the Euros. Will it happen? Who knows? But um, yeah, I've got Euros commentaries coming up. Uh, not many, because obviously I know they're very accessible, the Euro games. But I'm going to do a few. I've already got two um, uh, put in in the notes. So we're going to do France versus Germany, 8 o'clock on the 15th of, um, of June. So if we have a look here, that's, uh, well, this has been uploaded on Tuesday. So a week, a week today, 8 o'clock. Um, that'll be the first one. And then we're going to do another one on the 20th. So that is on the Sunday. Uh, that could change. These are um, th- the France-Germany one on the 15th. That'll definitely happen. But I've also said Italy versus Wales at five on that Sunday. That could change. That's a possibility for change. But at the minute, that's the one I'm doing. And then um, from there, I haven't got any more um, uh, sorted. But um, we'll definitely do some knockout ones as well. And not many will. We'll do three or four Euro commentaries because I do want to enjoy it as well. And like I said, they're very accessible, the games, so you don't really need my commentaries that bad. But if you want to come and join, please do. Um, it'd be good fun. Come and comment in the chat and we can, we can enjoy the games. But um, yeah, other than that, it's going to be the end of the video. Like I said, I want to hear your uh, predictions. And then, um, yeah, all I can subscribe, all that good stuff. And then, yeah, we'll be back uh, for some Euro commentaries and for the new season in a couple months' time. Other than that, I hope to see you soon in a stream. And, of course, enjoy, enjoy the Euros.